After the successful landing of the Chandrayaan-3 mission on the moon, the Aditya L-1 was successfully launched from Sri Harikota today. The rocket in fact carried the observatory class satellite with precision to its intended orbit. Three, two, one, zero. Plus five seconds. Lift off normal. P1 tracking. Magnificent lift off of PSLV C-57 with Aditya L-1 on board. The chief of the Indian Space Research Organization confirmed the successful launch and also the injection of the Aditya L-1 module into the desired orbit. Congratulations. Uh, the Aditya L-1 spacecraft has been injected in an elliptical orbit of 235 by 19,500 kilometers, which is intended very precisely by the PSLV, very unique mission mode here with the upper stage of the PSLV taking two burn sequence for injecting the primary satellite for the first time. So I want to congratulate PSLV for such a very different mission approach today to do this mission of Aditya L1 to put it in, in the right orbit. Now from now, the Aditya L1 will take its uh, journey after some earth maneuvers it will start its journey to the L1 point, a uh, very long journey of almost 125 days. So let us wish all the very best to Aditya spacecraft. But the Indian Prime Minister also posted on the social media platform X that was previously known as Twitter and he congratulated the Indian Space Agency for its monumental success. Now, this is the 59th flight of India's workhorse polar satellite launch vehicle. This is ISRO's 25th mission using this type of configuration. The craft was put in a highly in eccentric Earth-bound orbit. Up next, the spacecraft will perform some orbital maneuvers to reach the Sun-Earth Lagrange point L1. And this point is about 1.5 million kilometers away from the Sun. Now, Aditya L1's chief mission scientist said that the mission is very unique. No other international mission has the payloads that the Aditya L1 carries. So now uh, ISRO has established that uh, it has a capability to uh, uh, send observatory class missions anywhere in the interplanetary medium. Um, ISRO also is developing capability for small satellite missions uh, uh, like a nanosat, uh, CubeSat, as well as the small satellite capability. And that is something which, uh, especially a heliophysics community, could utilize it because we can, at a low cost, we can launch many more such instruments which are essential for heliophysics uh, community here in India. Now the Aditya L1 mission will now venture into space and study the solar activities as well as its effects on space weather. Now here's how Aditya L1 is going to study the sun from the space. The spacecraft will study the dynamics of the upper solar atmosphere. It will study partially the ionized plasma. It will also observe the particle dynamics from the sun and also the heating mechanism of the moon. And it will record the temperature, the velocity and the density of the coronal loops. The magnetic sensors will observe the field measurements around the sun. Aditya L1 will also be identifying the sequences of solar processes. And these processes include those which can lead to eruptions, such as the solar flares. The spacecraft carries seven scientific payloads or systematic stuff for the systematic study of the sun. All these payloads are indigenously developed in collaboration with various ISRO centers and scientific institutes. Is getting ready for launch. And also Vyond Siddharth MP has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Listen in. Yeah, so Lagrangian point is actually a vantage point in space or in interplanetary space. This is barely 1% of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So when we think of Sun mission, we might assume how close is it going to the Sun. In fact, not too close at all. It's barely going 1% of the distance from the Sun. The Earth and the Sun are 150 million kilometers apart. But this craft is going only 1.5 million kilometers away because that's all it needs. For its equipment to function normally, all it has to do is it has to get to L1 point, which is a stable and safe orbit for it. It is also a fuel efficient orbit to be in, which means the craft can save on its fuel and it need not fire its engine 
distance too many times to stay in the L1 orbit. From there, it can operate its payloads and particularly the Welk payload can image the sun's corona or the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere almost every minute from them for the next uh, five uh, years. And in ISRO expects that it will happen even longer. Another speciality of the L1 point is that Lagrangian points, there are actually five in number between the Earth-Sun system. So each point has its own advantages. Each of them are a vantage point. But ISRO has chosen L1 point because you know the kind of payloads that ISRO carries on Aditya L1. It hopes to uh, perform very unique experiments using the spacecraft from the L1 point. So this of course is a vantage point in space and why this point is chosen is because as far as craft circling the earth are concerned, it cannot be ideal for conducting studies of the sun. But the closer you go and the more vantage points you get to, the better your results are, which is why, you know, uh, sun, it's not reliable to study from the earth, but you know, in space studies and in situ studies from interplanetary space, they are the safest means. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.